Hi guys, it's me Ty and finally I'm coming at you with November 2015's haul video. And I say finally because, well, every possible delay you can imagine um, happening to a package pretty much happened with this haul. Um, i actually been waiting for this box for a few weeks now. It was kind of holed up due to um, items being delayed, but me not being told that they were being delayed until like the last day of the month after being held up for a few weeks and um even with ems shipping this time even that failed me and i still had to wait like an extra week for this box to get here so yeah as you can imagine i'm pretty frustrated with it and i'm just ready to just kind of open it and get it over with um i'm not even that excited about the items anymore so but yeah let's get to it um as you can see um, the Ami box is a decent size this month, but really there's not much in it. Like I said, there were some items that got delayed. Um, I also have some items that's outside of what I received from Ami um, that I'll show also. Um, but so yeah, let's get into this. But I'm pretty sure right now with the luck I've been having the last few days that um, I wouldn't be surprised if I open this up and there's actually just like some paper and some rocks rather than items. So we'll see what happens. Let's get into it. Okay, so before I get into the Ami Ami box, um, I just want to show off real quick um, that I also got, yep, the Funko Mystery Minis Best of Anime Set Series 1. Um, now, this is not really a surprise. I think I mentioned it in one of my subscription box openings that I had received a, a whole case of this at the beginning of the month. Um, but since it's anime characters, I figured I'd show it in this haul. Um, so as we can see on the edge, some of the characters in the mystery boxes is um, Soul from Soul Eater, Natsu from Fairy Tale, Kirito from Sword Art Online, and um, though I'm not happy with Funko at this moment due to other reasons, um, I couldn't help but pre-order this box when I saw that they were finally, finally doing a series of anime characters. So yeah, um, just like a full case of blind boxes that I'll open at some point, but um, yeah, I guess I just wanted to show this off that I have received it. Um, you can see a few other characters that are in it, which is um, Seal from um, Black Butler, um, again Natsu, uh, the Colossal Titan from Attack on Titan, and the others you have seen. Um, also there's like Mikasa, there's Asuna, um, all these other different characters that I love from different series. So yeah, I can't wait to open this one up. Okay, now getting into the Amiyami box. First up is what we usually expect. And as you can see, yep, the Amiyami thank you card. As we can see, it's a new design this time around, which I really like. Um, she's wearing a kimono and like red and white is the colors, which really flows nicely into the holiday season that we're starting going into. So yeah, really pretty colors. I was really surprised to see this, especially since I was expecting a different card for um, Halloween in October and we never got that. Um, but to see this one, it's really pretty. I really love it. I love the colors. Um, on the back, you can see it just says, as usual, thank you for shopping with us and, you know, giving similar info about Amiami. But yeah, even this design right here on the back, really cute. Okay, and first up out of the box is this. Ta-da! This Love Live Nozomi um, file case thing, you want to call it. Um, I actually needed this for my office, so rather than buy a plain boring one, of course, I'm like, let me get Love Live. And if I'm going to get Love Live, of course, it's going to be Nozomi. Um, I'm not sure what these tabs are. Can you guys see? I think they go within the file. Oh, okay, so yeah, here's the little file tabs or stickers or whatever they are. Um, you can see it's nice pink and purple stripes on it. And you can see the Musa symbol right here on the side in gold, which I really love. I think it's cute. And on the back side, you can see it's Nozomi. Just her with her tarot card and her name, which I love. Really pretty. I love the purple colors on this. And the fact that she's my favorite character from it is a plus. So, yeah, Maybe I'll use this at work. I don't know. Um, but that was my intention to begin with. Uh, okay, so yeah, here are the file tabs or the stickers or whatever they are. Not quite sure. Looks like file tabs to me. But you can see three of them are Nozomi's face and three are the Muse symbol. So that's pretty cute. Um, and you can see just more of the file holder. Um, yeah, here are the tabs here. So yeah, those are stickers because these aren't the slipping kind. But here are the tabs. You guys can tell and yeah just a cute clear file set 
so yeah I can't wait to use that okay guys and following up from that but first I just want to say I apologize if you hear any noises or anything in the background um, as usual there's just a bunch of people around and of course I can't control that also it's pretty late at night so the lighting is pretty bad so hopefully it won't be too bad on video and so next up what we have is actually a pre-owned figure for once and it is Nendoroid number 249 Kuroyuki Hime from the anime and light novel series A Cell World. Now, I have to say, I've been wanting this figure for a really long time. And as you can tell by it, the number and by the design on the box, it's one of the older figures. But I was such a fan of A Cell World and of this character that I've been wanting this figure long before I even knew what a Nendoroid actually was. Um, I just kept putting it off for a while. So finally, when I saw her, you know, come up on Ami Ami, she was really hard to get. Um, not because she wasn't readily available. She kind of comes up all the time, but she also sells out really fast. Like within a minute or so, someone's going to snatch her up. Um, so that was my difficulty in getting this one for the last so many months. But yeah, here she finally is. In good condition is AB quality and that's actually what I was wanting sure I can get a used one but I really wanted AB quality so yeah here she is I love everything about this character I love her design of course I love the little pink and purple and the black all together and the but um, butterfly design so yeah I really can't wait to open this one originally I had plans to get this one um, next well in a few months for my birthday um but i couldn't wait anymore and decided to grab it now when i can so yep here she is like i said i can't wait to open this one up really cute figure even though it doesn't look quite as much like the character in the series just the fact that i'm such a fan i just love this one already so yep here she is with her umbrella with haru in his pig form so there it is Okay, and next up we have Nendoroid number 536 Akira Uno from the manga series High Score Girl. Now, I know nothing about this series except that I think she plays arcade games, but I love everything about this design once I saw it go up for pre-order. I love like her bangs. I love like the weird expression on her face like she just doesn't care. And I love that she comes with an arcade machine, which I think is really cool. I just have to put stickers on. But yeah, I mean, really cool looking character. She comes with like a lollipop, as you can see down here, holding her, holding it in her hand. And so yeah, it really makes me want to check out the manga. But yeah, I believe it's a manga or is it a four-part comic? It's one of those. But yeah, she's a really cool character and can't wait to check that out. Here on top, you can see she has this weird, funny expression. Bottom, uh, yeah, eating the squid. Yeah, guys, yeah. <laughs> here she is with her arcade machine. Um, you can see here, I love that it's a Nendoroid size arcade machine with the stool and everything. Really cool character. And on the back, so yeah, I can't wait to open this one up as well. Okay, and next we have, yes, you knew I was getting it, Nendoroid number 541, Honoka Kosaka training outfit version from, what else, Love Live. And yes, I thought I was done with these Nendoroids, but then, of course, Good Smile Company started the new line of Love Live, and I had to start that too. Um, this go-round, they're in their training outfits um, from when they would be practicing after school. And so here is Honoka. Um... As of now, I don't believe I will be getting the full set of these. Um, I am getting a bunch of them, but not the full set. At least I don't think so. That could always change later. But Honoka was the first to go up, so of course I had to get her, even though she's not one of my favorite characters. So yeah, her outfit's really cute. You can see her here with her standard orange hair and orange shirt. Really cute. And as with all the other Love Live Nendoroids before, the box is really small. That's kind of why I'm holding it up like this. Um, the box is this weird, funny kind of pale orange color. Really weird. And it's a little hard to see the item she comes with, but I believe that's bread in the back right here. Really cute. Here it is from the top. Yeah, she's holding the bread. Here it is from the bottom. A scary look. 
the side, more bread, this side, and finally the back. So really cute. I can't wait to open this one up and I can't wait to get the other ones in the set. But like I said, nope, as of now, I'm not getting the full lineup as I did before. But yeah, really cute. Love Hanukkah. Okay, and last, but definitely not least, I still have a few more items. But last out of the Ami Ami box. And like I mentioned, like it really wasn't much in there. Ami Ami just really loves to overpack its boxes. But yeah, last we have is... Ta-da! Nendoroid number 525, Kogisune Maru from the online browser game Token Ramble Online. And yes, if you guys saw Munichika, that Nendoroid was awesome. That was the first one released um, from the series. And with Kogisune Maru, he's equally well done. Like, Good Smile Company really paid attention to detail with this one, and he looks great. Look at that. I love that his one arm, if you, I don't know if you guys can tell, but how one arm stays out of his sleeve. Um, they really paid a lot of attention to the game character. As you can see, he even comes with the little um, fox mascot from the game, the one that helps like navigate you through. Um, Konosuke is his name, I believe. But yeah, really cute. I love everything about this Nendoroid. It was like instant pre-order for me. I love his white hair, everything about him. So yeah, here it is from the top. You can see him with his sword. And again, the wild and crazy hair. The bottom, I really love this face. It's like really mischievous, laughing. On the side, really cute. again, same face and sword. This side, you can see him again with the fox up here. And from the back. See, he's really cool character, guys. Really can't wait to do an unboxing on this one. Like I said, I really love his outfit. And the way they paid such good detail to Munichika, I expect equal attention paid to this one as well. So yeah, I really can't wait to open this one up. Okay, and following on with the other items that I have outside of Ami Ami for this haul. And this one is also another pre-owned item, but this time it's from Mandarake. And that item is... Yes... From the Nendoroid Moore series, it's the Wagnaria playset, which is playset A, I believe. Yeah, it says here A. Um, and for those who don't know, um, a few years ago, these item, this sets were released by Good Small Company. And after that, they didn't make any more. And when I tell you these are kind of rare sets, they're really hard to get. Once the alert comes up for them, like on Mandarake or anywhere else... They usually go pretty fast, so I was really lucky to finally get my hands on one of them. Um, there are a few more sets, and there's even a second part to this one, which is the kitchen part. But for here, I have just like the the diner part from Ragnaria, or working, as that anime is called. So yeah, I was so surprised that I was finally able to get my hands on at least one of them. And it's really cute. As you can see, there's the diner seat right there and the table, some dishes and like the coffee pots and things like that. Um, and as you can spec with all those items, the set actually, this box is pretty heavy. And surprisingly, it was also an AB quality from Mandarake. Um, all they said was like slight box damage, which as you can see, I don't really see myself. But yeah, so glad I got this. Here it is from top and you can see like the full playset with the one of the um, working Nendoroids with it. Um, you can see the walls that come with it and how the tables are supposed to be set up. And the bottom again. From the side. Oops. This side. And the back. This shows what the set that I have, and this shows when both parts are put together A and B. Hopefully, one of these days, I'll be pleasantly surprised and able to get the kitchen part as well. But so far, like I said, really hard to get set. So I'm just so happy I was at least able to get one of them. And the fact that it's in such good quality. I mean, it's, I almost don't want to open it up. But at the same time, I've been wanting this for so long that I guess I will open it. Maybe I'll do an unboxing video on that. Maybe. But yeah, so I'm really happy about this. Okay, and next item up in the haul, um, and one I'm sure most of you figured I was going to get. And I think I even mentioned it in another video. But that is, yep, Nendoroid number 539, Harvest Moon version Hasune Miku, which was also um, an 
a GSC exclusive. So yeah, I had to order it through Good Smile um, Company's online shop as it was a figure that was made for one of the events they had um, earlier in the year. But as you can see, here is Miku and she's got kind of like a, a Chinese flair. I believe it was made for like a Shanghai event or something like that. But I have to say, guys, this is one of the prettiest Mikus they have made so far. I love everything about this one. The hair, like the gentleness of her expression, the fan in her in her hand. Um, really cool Nendoroid. I'm so glad I got it. Um, you can see up here, she comes with like a flute that she plays. Yep, look at that. On this side. Very cute Nendoroid. I love this one. Very sweet. Can see that how she holds it in her hand bottom and here she is from the back you can see it even comes with like um a little backdrop to show like uh like the moon in the background really cute really love this figure and i really can't wait to open this one up um good smart company did have did bring this one to new york comic con um however i had already pre-ordered it so i decided to just wait till i got my order and rather than buy another one but yeah really cute miku i really like this one and i think this makes the fifth miku nendoroid that i have now in the collection i think i really need to slow down but yeah she's so cute i can't help but get them Okay guys, and as for the last item of November's haul, which I'm sure many of you were already expecting if you watched any number of my videos for any length of a time. Um, and it's another exclusive. That's right, it's Summer One Fest 2015 exclusive. Nendoroid number 515, Makin Shoko Mako Fight Club version from the anime series Kill La Kill. And like I said, if you watch any number of videos of mine, you know I'm a huge Kill La Kill fan. And I love Mako. Mako is just so crazy, so funny. And you know, any version of her, especially in her Fight Club uniform, I definitely was gonna have to get it. Um, here you go, you can see right here. It's a little hard to see her face in it because you have all the red writing on the screen and it has that deep red background. But the box colors are similar to the original Mako Nendoroid that was released by Good Small Company. So yeah, here she is. Already you can see I love the toughness about her. I love the cap, the little leaf out of her mouth. Everything is just a great Nendoroid and I definitely can't wait to unbox this one. So yeah, here she is up top. I love this pose the most. Look at that. Look at her coat with all the weapons in the back. Here she is on the bottom. Look at, she has the bat in hand. She has the brass knuckles with her name. So cool. Here she is from the side. Again, similar poses as we've seen. Here's the tears coming out of her eyes. Um, this is the only one I quite don't like. I know they did it because, of course, it was in the anime. And, um... One of like her familiar exaggerated little expressions, but I'm not a fan of this. It just looks weird on an Android. That and the other crying piece here. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that one either. But other than that, I really love this Android already and I haven't even opened it yet. Especially this. I love this pose too. So yeah, guys. That's it for my haul this month and though I was a little frustrated about how long it took to get everything Now that I opened up everything I'm really kind of excited about it and can't wait to unbox a few of these So yeah guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully I didn't bore you too much Bye